Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I'm very happy to be back in my craft room after a weekend away down in Sussex um, for the Bazaar Summer event. Oh my word, I knew I was going to enjoy it, but what a time I had, what a wonderful weekend, what an amazing event. Really, really special, really memorable. I won't I won't forget it for a long time. I'm still I'm still buzzing with it. I took some little bits of footage here and there on my phone which I had never done before so I apologise in advance for my ineptitude <laughs> but I'm going to do my best now to give you a little bit of a, a flavour of the day I hope. One of the lovely things about it for me was that I met up with Marion, Marion Hawley you'll know her from the Facebook group. Hello Marion! And it was lovely to spend the day with Marion it made it extra special we both just we were blown away with the whole thing. As I say, I, I knew it was going to be good. I knew we'd enjoy it. I, I know that the Bazaar people are just, they're just lovely people. I love the way they work. I love what they do. Um, I love that their team is like a, like a family or like you wish a family would be. <laughs> and they, they work closely uh, with the people over in India who produce the things that they sell. Um, they've got a really good relationship. It's all fair trade and you know, so I can buy things from them without feeling guilt. I know that people are getting a fair money for what they've for what they've made for their work, and that is that's really important. I love how sustainable they are. You know how much I love Bazaar. I'd only before seen them at places like Ali Pali, where where they'll have a stand like at the knitting and stitching show kind of thing. Um, so it's a smallish stand. Um, absolutely crammed full of beautiful colourful bizarre goodies um, so to, to knowing that there were going to be all these all these tents all full of bizarre stuff I knew that was going to be a feast for the eyes um, <laughs> and I knew there was entertainment I knew there was going to be Bangra music I knew that Alex was going to be doing curries and things for later on you know I kind of had an idea of what was going on. I knew there was going to be a bizarre team's got talent, like, but I had no idea how talented they all were. I tried to record a little snippet of everything just to share with you. It was just the most incredible day in the most beautiful setting. I also got um, some footage of that. It was set. I'm, I'm aware that I'm gabbling. <laughs> still a bit overexcited by it all. It was set in the Sussex Prairie Gardens, um, which I, I also got some footage of. So um, the setting was beautiful, the weather was beautiful. It was just, just a really, really special day. I did say I was going to buy while I was there a dress and I bought it. This is the dress. <laughs> you can't see it all though. I've taken, um, I've taken, um, a, a photo of it so you can see it a bit better. I'll slot that in here. Love it. Very, very happy with it. And it's our anniversary, Martin and John's anniversary today, wedding anniversary, our thirteenth. Um, so we're going out for lunch. So I'm going to, I'm going to wear my dress. Um, I also bought one or two other things. <laughs> Trying to get it all back on the train was a bit of a mare but it all got here and everything fits and I'm delighted and uh, I will show you an, a glimpse at some of the other things I bought a bit later on. Of course I did have to get a couple of scrap packs as well and so did Marion. <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna now start, I'm gonna wade in and start trying to put everything together into some kind of a semblance of order into a little, uh, a little vlog to share with you all. What an amazing day I had. If you ever get the chance to go to, I mean, I, I know they do other, there's at least a couple other summer events as well. But if you ever get a chance to go to a bizarre show like this, I'm going to go to this. This is this will be a yearly event now. Mary and I, Marion and I have promised ourselves we're going to go every year. And Maggie, you've got to come with us next time. <laughs> if anybody else is watching who lives who lives in Sussex or could get to Sussex for the event and you want to meet up with us next year, you can always give me a shout. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to now stop waffling for a minute and it's going to be a bit difficult because I'm going to have to put in lots of clips and voiceovers and photos and try and cobble them all together. So, so first of all, let's have a look at the beautiful 
Gardens. <gasps> so this is the Sussex Prairie Gardens and Paul and Pauline, who I can't remember the surname now, Paul and Pauline, uh, who have created the gardens. So Moreland's Farm, where the Sussex Prairie Gardens have been created, um, was Pauline's childhood home. And I think it's where, I think it's the, the hay barn where she used to play as a kid is, is what has now been transformed into their home. And apparently the home, it caught my eye, the building's very striking. It was featured in the programme Grand Designs, so I'm going to have to try looking that up now. Um, there's beautiful sculptures in there. I just love the whole feel of the place. It's, I'll, I'll show you as we go along. They clearly, the garden is their their passion it's just you know they put put love and soul into that garden and you can really feel it when you go in right from the before oh, it still gives me goose pimples to think about it <laughs> and then there's also there's a tea rooms there where they have lovely cakes and things and if you go on through there's uh, like an art a big art studio and there are two resident artists there at the moment and I met one of them Amanda Duke I'm gonna um hello Amanda if you're watching I'm gonna call I took some photos of her so I said um, I'd find her on Instagram and send them over to her so uh she was she was really really interesting person to me and I loved her blown away by her art but I'm not gonna waffle on now I'm not gonna stop now I'm gonna show you these photos I'm, this is gonna be a shambles this video <laughs> let's go in now and have a look at some of the garden first. Well I managed to get there an hour early. I was there at 11, it didn't open till 12. <laughs> Here's the entrance where I sat outside with my sketchbook having a lovely time. I met some really nice people in the queue. <laughs> it was a great start to the day. Here's the woodland bit you walk through on the way into the gardens. Really pretty. And I love that there were these two little pigs roaming in the in the woods, enjoying the mud foraging having a lovely time <laughs> i like this cute little shed as well the sort of interactive colorful interactive cow on it and probably aimed at kids but of course i had to have a go looking back that way you can see the building in the distance the house that was on grand designs i mentioned here's a couple of little seats by the shed you know under a shady tree had to try that out <laughs> and i think the next one is yeah looking up at the sun coming down through the trees. Very pretty. It was so quiet. The planting's all very naturalistic and it's arranged in these large beds with the mowed areas in between. And there are paths winding through the beds that you can walk through. It just feels so beautiful, so peaceful. You can hear the wind blowing through the grasses. All oh, the sculptures there, there's the buffalo there. So here's another one, there's sculpture everywhere which is really nice. Just love the look of this, very natural feeling planting, great swathes of plants, you know. There were bees everywhere. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. The, the photo doesn't do it justice. This is looking back down through one of the kind of mown paths that you can walk through. More seat. I sat on that little seat there for a while as well. <laughs> There's another cool shady sort of bit of seating here with some more sculpture. Really interesting plants to look at. I don't know what these were, but they felt lovely. And then I had to stop for a cup of coffee and a cheese scone. Had to be done. So I got some um, footage of the gardens now. Just having a look around. Giving you a feel of the place. One of the things I loved was that they said in the brochure, um, he said picnic area everywhere, <laughs> wherever you like. They provide lots and lots of seating. Of course, you can just sit on the ground, you know, bring a rug. They're happy for you to bring a picnic and, and have it anywhere. And it's amazing. There were quite a lot of people here. There was a huge queue outside by the time it was actually opening time. And, um, and yet, it, it still felt very peaceful and there was so much space. I'm just going to be quiet now and let you enjoy the footage. Really doesn't do it justice.
I love to be able to walk through the planting like this. <laughs> this one was alive with bees. I think you can, yeah, you can see them there. It was absolutely humming with bees. <laughs> loved all the grasses. All the plants look like they belong together. And this was a kind of maze. I'm trying to find my way to the seating that was in the middle and I got a bit confused. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. And probably really all you can hear is slight noises of me walking and the hum of my computer in the background now. But this is how peaceful it was. I've got I've left the audio on. So if you walk on through um, the tea room, you come to this lovely big studio space, which is where I met this lovely lady, Amanda Duke. Such an interesting person to talk to, such a brilliant artist. She works in um, textiles and paper and creates pieces that are inspired by her surroundings by nature and and the environment around her and I love that she's used the plants in this garden as her inspiration but she's also used plants for eco dyeing eco printing she's actually used the marks used the the plants to make marks she used them almost like brushes and you can see some of that behind her in these pictures she'd made 3D pieces out of paper as well, like papier mache kind of thing. She's she's been um, doing a lot with visible mending. Um, oh, just I could have talked to her for hours. I wish I lived nearby because she runs. If anybody is watching who does live nearby, check out her classes. I'll put links to Amanda in the description box as well as to the gardens. And yeah, I mean, if I lived near there, I'd, I'd be there all the time. So I had a had a good old chat with Amanda, and then um, asked her if I could film a little bit of the the large hanging textile pieces, which we'll see in a minute. And um, and then she was showing me the the beautiful visible mending piece on on the table which you'll see her talking about now and this was and that's when I started film so I didn't catch it all but she was telling me that, that she'd she'd initially done it to save this blanket that had got sort of moth holes in it but it was a precious blanket she didn't want to get rid of and wool blankets are hard to find now so she used another blanket to to mend it and one thing led to another and look at the beautiful thing that it turned out to be absolutely gorgeous I do the same thing really <laughs> um, bits of black same things are coming through you know just love pure it. Fun. I love that pure fun and you just couldn't as I say you couldn't buy it I mean I suppose no and you, you might know. not have wanted to you couldn't either, but, uh, <laughs> oh. but people it's just having a bit of fun really and of course yeah. when you grow you've been my mother used, as lots of people's mothers did, do a lot of sewing. Yeah. So I did learn from my mother in terms of dressmaking and so on. Um, yeah. But of course, I remember her darning the occasional sock. Yeah. Because um, it was worth doing in those days. But it was always invisible mending, wasn't it? Yeah. It was all yeah. about making sure you yeah. could see it. Yeah. And now we're and like, whoa, look at it. Yeah. 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 Love it. These pieces are done with free motion embroidery free motion uh, machine embroidery absolutely gorgeous I can't it, the footage here hasn't really hasn't caught the, the kind of depth and texture of them yeah, but you can get some idea awful lot of work in them and then the, these pieces Amanda was explaining she's been 
experimenting with plant-based dyes and these are a mixture of Procyon dyes that she used to use all the time and the plant-based dyes that she's been experimenting with more recently. I think they work really well together. So inspiring. What a lovely space this is. I'd love to be able to go to those workshops. So now I'm heading for the bazaar area and my very first stop is to say hello to Alex and Daniel who are on the food stall serving up delicious spicy food for lunches and I can't believe they went on to serve 120 people in the evening and it was absolutely amazing. Yes, Daniel, I'm Alex. So this is getting a bit closer together, can't get you both in. We're serving delicious Indian curries today. Yeah, let's, let's pan out a bit. Tarlies. I am so looking forward to that. Is there a cut-off point? When do you finish? Oh, um, about half two, three o'clock, then we've got the big party tonight. So I've got another 115 coming this evening. So Including me, stop. that's what I'm here for, really. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Later. It's, it's amazing. So what have you cooked? I've cooked uh, mutter paneer, it's Indian cottage seasoned peas and a mild turmeric and almond gravy. <gasps> One of my favourites. Sati masala, sati masala is vegetables and spicy tomato sauce. And lentil dal, good old Indian <gasps> spicy lentils, what could be better? Yeah, three of my absolute favourites. I'm looking forward to that. Right, I'm mm -hmm. going to let you go now because it's like I'm getting in the way of people. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Nice to meet you again. And you, Ellie, nice one, nice. And I'll give you a close-up look at my delicious tarly a little bit later on. After this I went on to meet some of the other lovely people in Team Bazaar and this is Zilla. I've, well I haven't actually met Zilla before um, but I've had little notes from her <laughs> and I've corresponded uh, by email with her as well and uh, it was lovely to meet her. We just had a big hug and it was like I just felt as if I was meeting an old friend. Everybody was just so friendly and welcoming. It was brilliant. This is Ben, who was telling me that he's Joe and Alex's nephew, so he's Daniel's cousin. He was lovely as well. He was looking after the stand at the end, the display at the end, where they had some beautiful large quilts and the, these amazing old doors. I'll give you a look at all the goodies later. And then here's Ben with Billy. I just realised that's Billy and Ben. <laughs> There's Billy on his own. And then here he is carrying water around for any dogs that might be thirsty, which I thought was so sweet. And now here's Adam, who is a guardian of all the shopping. If you look just behind his left shoulder, you can see a red bag, which has started to fill up with all of the goodies I ended up buying. I will do a little tour around um, all of the temptation for you in a minute. And I'll give you a little peek at some of the gorgeousness that was on display. Um, it was lovely to see it all together. It's way too much temptation. And here's my pile of stuff I ended up taking back with me, sitting next to my already full suitcase, wondering how on earth it's all going to fit in there to get home. <laughs> but where there's a will, there's a way. Anyway, I'd only just started some serious browsing when I met up with first Shana and then Joe. So let's have a look at that. Hi. This is Joe Hi. and this is Shana. <laughs> it's so lovely to meet you in person. Very, very excited <laughs> to have Artie Party Addy here. Oh, VIP guest. And I'm already, yeah. I'm already and shopping. She's already, she's already dropping things on the floor. <laughs> Sorry, ah. I'll, I'll tidy up in a minute. Don't <laughs> worry. No, I've got some. Um, Fisherman's, oh look, yeah. explain to me about the fisherman's pants. Okay, so the fisherman's pants, they are <laughs> wrap around trousers. So you have to step into them, pull them up, tie it, lift it up the other bit, tie uh, it. They're like a nappy. <laughs> like a nappy. Wear, tie one, weight one. I know, but Hard when you say explain. nappy, it's, it so puts people off. <laughs> so I'm like, it's not fabric. <laughs> they wrap just, around. They just look old amazing, old I'm intrigued. Fisherman trousers. They're what the Thai fishermen wear. Yeah. yeah. Panting those days. No. <laughs> I don't think they invented <laughs> pants, did they? <laughs> Victorian bloomers came in. Yeah. This is not what I was imagining saying on a video. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> the best bit is that Annie says she's walking around that she found so 
so much. She recognised so many of the fabrics yeah. and the clothes from the scrap bag. <laughs> from the scrap bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's very sweet. So, so Shana, you work, you do a lot of that. You pack up Ooh. a lot of our lovely scrap bags for us. Um, I am not. Well, I do do the scrap bags, but I'm more in the clothes. You wanna? But right. I do gather the scraps. And so how top many? Them up. How many of the of you are there all together? Oh, there's lots of us. Um, at the headquarters, there's about. Yeah, wow. Coming, coming and going yeah, and coming and going. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Shana helped out with all the awful admin accounts. Oh, pounds. yuck. Oh, zero. yuck. Oh, this is much more fun, isn't it? This must be like your jolly, isn't it? Well, it's beautiful here, isn't it, in the garden? Yeah. And you'll see what Shana a... tonight, what she does when she's not at work. So, <laughs> amazing hula hoops. <laughs> oh really? Oh, I thought the hula hoops were out yeah. there. Well, I, wow. I've just got one hula hoop, but I did make those for the garden. Yeah, yeah the kids did you? Garden. Oh, can't wait for that. I'm so looking Shana forward Rose to that. In a spin. It was around this time that Marion arrived. So here's Marion. You'll know her as Marion Hawley on our in our Facebook group. It was so lovely to meet up with Marion in person and to spend this special day with her. It really did help to make it extra special. We've both said we'll go again next year and we're going to take Maggie with us. <laughs> we both did a lot of shopping as well. <laughs> I'll show you a bit more of that later. But let, come and come and have a little wander with us. Oh, found the scrap packs here. Can't go away without a couple of scrap packs, eh? <laughs> and I end up spotting one that's got a big piece of yellow in it and you never see yellow <laughs> in the scrap packs. So I had to have that one. And I picked up another gorgeous one as well. I'll show you them both in a minute. This stuff was absolutely gorgeous. It's like cotton wrapped in, in this metallic thread. I wanted to take it all home, but Joe said I couldn't. I love how they do lots of men's clothes as well as women's clothes and it was lovely that almost everybody there, staff and visitors alike were all wearing bizarre clothes and Marion and I kept spotting things that oh oh look at that skirt in fact Marion did go and find one of those skirts later on you'll see that <laughs> so many beautiful things to look at And all displayed so beautifully as well. My 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 filming is definitely not doing it justice. <laughs> it is the first time I've done any filming on my phone, in my defence. Oh, this was the top that got away. This was the one I really, really wanted. <laughs> but I'd already got myself too many, too many other treats by then. I had to put it back, but Look at all this beautiful, lovely, soft silk tops and skirts and things. Oh, absolutely lush. Oh, I took a picture of this for future reference. Because I'm thinking I might be able to do something similar with some of my sari bags. Oh, and I just loved these. I just couldn't find a good reason to have them. And Joe did say I couldn't have everything. Speaking of Joe, she did manage to spare another few minutes to have another chat, which 
Jasmine kindly filmed for us. Just lovely to see you. Thank you for coming. Yes, we've been saying in the in the camp outside. But Aunt Fortiani's coming. VIP guest. People have been going. Oh, I don't know if I've seen all of her videos. Let's have a look. I've been sat outside since eleven o'clock this morning, wondering where everybody was. Why? Why it's not open till twelve? Yeah. I put myself in deliberately not too big of a bag so I don't. That's all right. We sell bags. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, have we can give, give bags away to people who are of course you know our sari bags yeah i love the sari bags, bags yeah. yeah looking forward to the food as well he's getting ready for i think we've got about 120 people most people coming are having having a tali you can bring a tip a picnic if you don't you do, yeah you can buy a ticket with or without curry yeah. but um most people want the curry of yeah of course yeah definitely delicious yeah why would you not? And, and tonight, it's all vegetarian, it sounds amazing. Vegetarian and vegan options, but tonight there's a special new tabla player coming. Ooh. So the normal tabla player who who normally comes can't unfortunately come. And in his place, a very up and coming rising star in the world of tabla playing is coming to play with our normal Sita player. And he said, be excited. Ooh, so I think now. that's going to be anyway. And Jasmine's going to, who is now filming for us, Jasmine's going to be singing. Are you? I am. Yeah. I am indeed. Turn the, turn the camera on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. You'll enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. I won't tell you all about it because I don't want to spoil it all. Oh, I'm just so, yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm getting that flight. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so once we'd had our fill of wandering about and doing a bit more shopping, Marion and I went and took, she, she'd brought a couple of fold out chairs. Um, we went and found a shady spot under a tree to sit in the gardens uh, to just sort of chat and chill for a while and wait for the evening kind of uh, celebrations to start and um, all they started bringing all the, the uh, tables to the same sort of area around where all the entertainment was going to take place oh so exciting the atmosphere was amazing and um, one of the first things to happen was Jo playing the harp and she'd been so kind of playing it down as though she was just practicing and you know we were like we were completely we were so impressed we were blown away by it have listened to this I try I did my best through all of this I was really self-conscious about going and filming I didn't want to sort of push to the front to film so I did the best and I, I've never sort of recorded stuff on my phone before I apologize in advance for my ineptitude but I did the best I could and I think you'll get a you'll definitely get a, a, a flavor of, of what it was like I hope so anyway have a look at this <laughs> beautiful was that and now here's a little snippet of jazz singing this beautiful song I don't know I'd never heard it before um, but I'm a bit out of touch with modern music uh, but I wonder if it's a song she wrote herself it's absolutely beautiful it's been haunting my head ever since um, I apologize again for the sound quality and I couldn't really get near enough because I was just a bit too self-conscious to be honest but I hope you'll be able to hear enough to hear how beautiful it was <laughs>
Walifa Fila Walifa Watan Maskin so you can see how chilled out everybody was it was just brilliant <laughs> the, the sun was just beginning to go down the weather was absolutely idyllic um, the uh, sitar and tabla players had started to play in the background and it was just Marion and I at this point just kept looking at each other going wow is this the best day ever <laughs> and the queue had started for Alex's amazing Indian curries um, so uh, you were allowed to bring whatever dishes you whatever picnic or whatever you you liked with you whatever tipples you wanted to bring I think the majority of people probably chose to have one of Alex's amazing tallies I certainly did so I'm going to show you a picture of that now and then a little snippet of the beautiful Indian music we have playing in the background while we we're eating it's just just a blissed arm or tree just listened to that all day I find it so relaxing we were so chilled out by this point <laughs> and we hadn't got any tipples with us <laughs> only water <laughs> honest honest so next treat in store was Shana and I I had no idea you could do this with a hula hoop watch watch this <laughs> Cause if everybody knew, would know exactly what I was talking about. Talking about diamonds on the soles of your shoes. Safe 
She said, honey, take me dancing with me Ended up by sleeping in a doorway Of the bodegas and the lights on the Broadway Wearing diamonds on the soles of their shoes And I could say, I mean what I have never seen anything like that in my life I just was gobsmacked cool. go Shana anyway so the next little treat was the lucid fox and again never seen anybody do this it was so clever what he did he, he explained to me before is he gets people to write words or phrases on little slips of paper which he calls rapids and then he gets someone else at someone at random in the audience to pull out the word or phrase and um he does a he does a rap on a based on it <laughs> and I talk about him to think on your feet and this time because I was there he made it scrap it's not rapids <laughs> some of them were on pieces of fabric so of course I wrote mine on a piece of fabric so Marion and I each put a one in the hat and funny enough ours were amongst the ones that got pulled out there were loads here it's really difficult i filmed loads of lucid fox i can't i can't show it all because this video is getting way too long so i'm going to just show some snippets and give you a flavor of it again <laughs> but he really made us laugh and i just don't know how he thought that quickly and hats off to his accompanist as well i don't know what his name was but he was he was brilliant too oh see what i mean what a good time we were this was just this, this was way way over and above what we were expecting we knew it'd be good but we didn't know there's going to be this much to it here's the lucid fox all right elderflower cordial it's the next one elderflower yeah and elderflower cordial giving me the flavor that i know that i can do it all of you and now it's getting there it's really just quenching gets me up and rapping for you ain't benching but look i'm not after sponsorship but if you got it elderflower cordial can you see talent can you spot it anyone there i didn't want the prep but look at me for adverse i would be a rep all right we'll go to the next word and see how we can play it understand that we can do it but we know when we can do it yeah 
So the next word is juggle, maybe one or two hands. Could I do it as a ball, or would I do it when I stand? Or would I do it one legged? Would I do it while I'm thinking? Would I juggle two, three, see four things while I'm drinking? And maybe it's a chainsaw, maybe it is just a ball. Maybe it's a hat and the rhymes, and I can do them all. Or maybe it's a metaphor inside my head because I got the word that I am juggling instead. Trying to bounce it about like there is nothing when it's worth it. Juggling it about when I can think the word just circus. Thinking that I speed it like I know when I can shout it. Juggling up that I can just do it in. Oh, one more word before I say to juggle. The reason that I can do this is because I'm just not a muggle. I think about it, but there is nothing for a visit. I will say that it is here. I'm the lyrical wizard with the hand. The next one I got is. If you would look past me to the right. Wait, you guys left my right? Yeah, kind of that direction The word is sunset, can you see the reflections? It kind of shimmers off the trees and sees the moisture Kind of getting here, it's the word that a voice is Tia, it's just a painted picture that's in the distance Seen it come across a rate of persistence And by the way, for where we're starting This is probably, you know, it's a beautiful time to get a sunset in the garden um, a big round of applause for Paul and Pauline. This is their garden. It's an amazing place. I mean, how can you not come here and not feel good? So thank you for letting us come here and do this. Right, would one of you guys like to come and take a word out of the hat? Pauline? The word I have is bollocks. <laughs> so, talking about a part, if a mosquito landed on it, you wouldn't be slapping that thing like supersonic. <laughs> talking about the bit, when something's cracked, you say, oh, to that. Would you like to come and grab one, Annie? Yeah. <laughs> there's a scrap, back, there's some scrap ones. In there, yeah, so. It's going to be a fabric one. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Blissed out of my tree. <laughs> All right. I was sitting down and I was waiting and I was just in a place that I would best And I had faced the parts, ooh, they put me to the test And then I walked up and my party just started I walked into a place like the prairie garden I knew as soon as I could be I was blissed straight out of my tree Lying back, relaxing, the noise is just there You got the buzzing of the bees, the call of the dogs People, yeah You sit back, relax, the sun begins to bake You get a bit hungry, decide to have a curry and dessert, maybe cake I don't know what to say to me I'm just at the prairies, I'm blissed out from my tree I'm enjoying the day, I'm enjoying the night The sun set, that would all be a pie Say it, I would not be hiding. This time of tree was just a word that pulled out on fabric. Alright. <laughs>
Very unusual uh, unbagging of a scrap pack being done out in the wild at night. Oh, what a beautiful sari bag! Oh, look at that bag purples and greens. I love a purple and green. So we think it's, the, it's, the, it's the pink colorway you've gone for, obviously. Oh my god, that's a well filled pack. It is. Oh my god, that even in the dark, that looks lush. Oh, yum, 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 yum. It's huge. That's a big piece. You made a bag out of that, can you? Oh, I could make that bag like. That you wanted? Yes. Make your own? Yes. Just need a bit of lining. See, I just needed the fabric to. Yeah. There's the lining. Yeah. That feels nice. Huge! Oh, well, for the price of the scrap pack, you'll probably get your own bag and some more, won't you? Won't oh, you? I hadn't realised that that's sparkling. <gasps> oh, yes! It's got uh, little sequins in it. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's very that's pretty. Cool. That is so soft. So, some, do you reckon some of this will be making its way onto stitchery squares? Oh! If I can let it go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Beads. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Pretty. The glass, are they? Yeah. Look at like it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. That was one of the bits that caught your eye when you chose the yeah. back, wasn't it? Oh, that Look is lush. That. that is gorgeous silk. Oh, you could show your skirt as well. Oh, I could. That's nice. They're always handy. Those that I love this. Um, I've got quite a lot of that fabric now from the packs. Like this soft sleeve. cottony. Yeah, it is. You can see the shape, yeah. can't you? Oh, gorgeous colours. Oh, oh, oh you've wow. got that little got... bit of oh, look at like that. smockingy so bit, pin tack bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the buttons. Yeah. <laughs> That's a challenge. I that like the challenge. challenge. Let's have a look at the skirt. Let's have a look at the skirt. You've got to have a look at the skirt. Did the skirt go in the same sari bag or did you get a different... No, um, I've got a different one. Another sari bag of that. Ooh. You chose one in the end then. I did. It's hard to choose. I'm not being rude not showing Marion's face. She just won't let me. I'm too shy. Cam gone all camera shy. <laughs> Oh, I love this skirt. Oh, oh hang on. <laughs> and it's so, so it's all it. it's like flared and layered. Yeah. Oh my, it is beautiful. That's a good choice. Look at that. Look at the layers. Oh, yum. Yum. If I did, hadn't already bought far too much already, <laughs> I'd be going back for one myself. We've seen a lot of people wearing some lovely things, haven't we? In the, uh, yes, including yeah. these layered and skirts. That's what so, made me buy the skirt. Yeah. Nothing like seeing it on people and seeing it in oh, person. Beautiful. And a free bag. And a beautiful bag. So you can see, can't you, what an amazing day we had. I hope you get got a taste of it anyway. I'm sorry the video went on so long, but... There was a lot to try and squeeze in there <laughs> what an amazing day thank you so much to joe and alex and all of the bazaar team for making it so special thank you to marion for coming and meeting me i was going to show you everything i bought but i haven't really got time i'm going to slot in a couple more pictures i took so i think i already showed you the picture of this dress on i'm going to slot in a couple more pictures here the first one is a top that's got like a drawstring just just around here so i can pull it in and around the arms as well so I can change the shape and size as I as I change with my diet going on 
and then the next one is um actually like shorts you know it's like one of those all in one shorts things and i didn't realize that so initially i put it on thought it felt a bit tight around the bottom <laughs> guess what i've done i put both legs through the same hole and then realized there was this extra leg flapping off there so that solved that problem i also got the famous fisherman's trousers which i was planning to try on at the end of this video but it's gone on far too long so i'll just show them to you I've left them tied up because I wanted to show you what they look like before I mess them up. So Joe suggested putting them this way round with the tie at the back. So we'll we'll see how that goes. What I'm going to do is show you the rest of the clothes that I've bought properly on Big Fat Diary Day on Monday. And there's this top as well. Everything I got fits me except one thing, which I'll tell you in a minute. This one love this fabric I've had lots of this fabric in scrap packs before and I think that might go nicely with the fisherman's trousers I was going to call them fisherman's friends then <laughs> this is the only one that didn't fit me this is the little dress thing it's called a charlotte dress or something but it was off the sale rail so I don't mind there's enough fabric there that if I turn it into a shorter length of top rather than a dress I've got enough to make it just to give it a little bit extra space in it to make it fit me I'll definitely do something with it because what drew me to it was the, was the this bit, the gorgeous colour it's still not really coming out quite the right colour but it's not far off on my camera and this lovely texture this kind of tone on tone kind of pattern in it love that so quite happy with that that's fine I've also got my two scrap packs which I will open on a di in a different video cannot wait to see what's in there and a new little pile of extra sari bags so this I squeezed it all into. I also got this one, this looks lovely on. I love the sort of quite vintage shape of this one. Got that on the sale rail as well. Love it, love the colours, love the shape. Looks really nice on. And then there's this beautiful one here. Look at the, I'm gonna show you on the desk. Hang on. Look at the work in it. And lovely little mother of pearl buttons. Pin tucks everywhere, even on the back. It's gorgeous and it's got this kind of trim all down the sides and the bottom and um, and at the cuffs. Lovely to wear with kind of loose cotton trousers in the summer I think. But I think that's it, of course the dress that I've got on. So I will show those over the, you know, on, on, uh, over the next uh, couple of weeks, Big Fat Diary days I think, that's probably the best thing. And I'll do a separate video opening the scrap packs, which I cannot wait to get into. <laughs> but for today's video i think that is quite enough thank you very much for watching if you're still with me i hope you enjoyed that little peek as I, as i said earlier if you're anywhere near sussex near enough to get to it next year try and try and come maybe we could all meet up oh what a, you won't regret it it was just such a fabulous fabulous experience yeah still buzzing <laughs> Thanks again very much for joining me today and I'll see you again really soon. Bye. Marion's going to laugh at this because she was <laughs> she told me about this the other day. It always makes her laugh when I do this. I thought I'd finished by Evan. I forgot to show you just before we left, just before we parted company, Marion popped this little bag inside my, the bag that I was carrying and said, open that later. It's a special, it's a little memento of the day. First I felt awful because I hadn't thought of getting her anything. <laughs> Typical me. And then I just felt excited to see what it was. Have a look, have a look. It's so cute, I'll have to show you. Such a sweet, sweet thing. Look. How gorgeous. How beautiful are they? And they're all double-sided, look. Aren't they lovely? I think I'm going to string them together. Make a little hanging decoration out of them. They're beautiful. Thank you, Mary, and I absolutely love them. And I'm really going now. Bye. <laughs>